Okay. Good morning, Colorado. Here we go. Say hi, Lou. Hi, Lou. Here we go. What are we doing today? Okay. So, in the last video, we set the crankshaft and we plastic gauge the main bearings. So now, before we put in all the ancillary stuff and uh, rods and things, while the crankshaft can shift fore and aft the easiest, we check crankshaft end play. So, in order to check crankshaft end play, you have to have the timing gear torqued onto the crankshaft. So you got to have your crankshaft nut torqued down. Well, normally you'd have the pulley right here. Well, as you know, getting these pulleys on and off is difficult and it's easy to bend the pulley. So I have a pulley hub that has been uh, the pulley machined off and the inside polished so it slides on and off the shaft real easy and it's no longer an interference fit. Okay, so I've got the crankshaft smacked all rearward okay and so you can see on the dial gauge we're about at zero there and then I'm just gonna take a rubber mallet and I'm gonna tap it forward up against the thrust washer and there we got about four thousandths the spec is four to six thousandths that gives you the oil clearance to go in here and here to lubricate that uh, in play thrust. So that's how that adjustment works. So now we'll shut down and uh, start working on putting the pistons and rods together. Cool. Slowly exercising the curse. That's right. Okay, here we go. Okay, so next, we're getting ready to install new pistons onto the old rods, which have all been checked and uh, are good to go. So, we're undoing the nut on there, and it's torqued pretty tight, so I used the cheater and uh, broke that free. So that's our next step. We'll undo that, slide the wrist pin out, get the piston off, slide on a new piston. And when you do that, be sure to check the orientation of the T-slot. And then I've got my pistons marked front and which rod I'm on. So, when you go to the book, uh, doo, 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 doo. here we go. Okay, so you got your oil squirt hole. The oil spray hole is away from the camshaft. Okay, so uh, yeah, the Two-way manual explains it all real simple, straightforward. Now keep in mind that in the military book, they do have one diagram or paragraph, I can't remember which, but you could look it up on G503. There's lengthy discussion talking about the misoriented either the squirt hole or the T-slot. I can't remember what in the book. But I always use my 2A manual, even when I'm building a war jeep for this part of the operation, because I know this is all correct and I won't get confused. So we undid the bolt, pulled the bolt out, sitting right there. There's the old piston pin, the old piston. There's groove. And there's the little groove for the retaining bolt that helps lock it in. Yep, so, um, so now we'll grab a new piston and it comes with a new wrist pin. 
and we will install that per the book again so uh, piston skirt T slot that's this baby is on the side towards the cam okay so that tells you the orientation and then these pistons have a little get the light on it right a little notch normally that notch is pointed forward on the engine so that should put the t-slot by the cam so we have the t-slot oriented up the notch oriented to the front of the engine and that puts the oil squirt hole in this boss um, opposite of the T-slot in the can. Okay, so here's number one. And if you look, the orientation relative to the engine, okay, it'll go in like so. Okay, so front, front. All right, then there's the oil squirt hole. And then the camshaft is over on the left side and that's where the T-slot is. And that's the orientation. Okay, so we got all the pistons put on with new wrist pins and, uh, and we torqued the bolts to 37 foot-pounds and uh and we used some assembly lube when we put it all together so now okay and we double checked our orientation this is critical that's why i keep going over it where your oil squirt hole is it's opposite of your t-slot and then there's forward so and as you can see these pistons are all 20 over so the block was bored 20 over and then uh, so our next step is we're going to install piston rings and go okay so we're going to put in the oil ring and i like to align the gap with the wrist pin so it's away from the thrust faces then it has little spacers that go in there and we'll do the lower one and we'll offset the gap about an inch and try to spiral that in like so try not to stretch it Bingo, we're in. Okay, and we'll do the top and I'll offset the opposite way over here. Spiral that in. Try not to scratch your piston surfaces. There, that's in. All right. Ta -da. Okay. Keep it rolling or just uh, you can kill it. Okay. Two, three, go. Okay, so now here's your next ring. Get in on that mark. And if you can see it has a little dot. That means up on the piston. So that's how you orient it. Now the profile of these are pretty rectangular. Some of them are not. Some of them are a little different. So uh, um, just pay attention to that then I've got a nifty little ring spreader tool which helps for the stiffer springs and we just come down to the groove and I put that in and I leave that on the opposite end opposite of uh, what we had going there um, from the oil ring so we don't have all of our uh, ring brakes 
in the same area. Now here's the top ring. And okay, so look on this and there is no mark which implies that it can be installed either way. And if you look at the profile, it looks like it that could be the case. Here's uh Oh, I, I'll tell you the difference. The second ring has a little chamfer on the inside. So that's why it's marked. So this one, we just put it in our ring expander, bring it down to the second groove, and then clock it off to the side but not on the thrust faces and uh, that's got her so we'll do all four pistons that way and then um, before we stick it in the cylinder we'll lube it all up and uh, they should be good to go all right One, three go Okay, so I got the next piston clamped in my vise, but one thing I wanted to show you is I keep my blocks of wood above the metal of the vise because I don't want to mar the leading edge down here of the piston while doing this work. And uh, keeps it nice and stable that way. Quite precise, I might add. <laughs> it's because you're an engineer. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> what can I say? So oil ring in and then offset that about an inch. Spiral her down. I want it in the well well she went in the top side, so that's okay. <laughs> but uh And then where are you putting the groove on that one? Yeah, I wanted about an inch offset. Right there. Okay, so then I want to get the bottom one in the right place. And Come on, baby. There she goes. Okay, and then that gap moved a bunch on me, so I'll move it back over to here. Okay, so we got one gap here, and then the other gap right there. Okay, so here's number two with the dot up. Let me get that again, just for the hell of it. Focus it. There you go. Okay, let me bring it down here. And that's actually going in the second slot up. And then we get a top ring, which can go either way. And that one's going up here. And then I'm gonna offset those two gaps on that other uh, end away from where I had the oil ring okay. gaps. There's one, and then let me swing around this side. And then there's the other one. Yeah. And then this upper groove is just uh, a heat groove or whatever, so it doesn't get a ring. And that's it. Alrighty.